ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அட் எபிசோட் ஆன் யுவர் ஃபேவரட் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு டு செட் அப் தி டைனட்ரீஸ் ஒன் ஏஜ் டைனட்ரீஸ் டு மாண்டர் தி அப்ளிகேஷன் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ ஹாவ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூட் ஐ ஹாவ் செப்பரேட்டட் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி ப்ராசஸ் இன் டு சிக்ஸ் uh separate stages because this will definitely help you in your interviews in case if you are attending your interviews and it basically uh is dealing with i mean like if they ask you like how to set up the data trace or what are the or what is your understanding about the data trace installation or data trace setup so this video will definitely help you in that part and um, before we move on to this video this is me Arthur Shanmugam i welcome you all to our little side youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and give a thumbs up if you like the video and share the video with your friends so as i told you uh, i have distributed or i have separated this into six different steps or six steps sequential steps i would say so out of which the first step is to install the one agent on the application servers because again and again i'm telling you in multiple videos because most of us miss this word the one agent and this since this one agent is the key component of the data trace which needs to be installed on each of our application servers so in case if you have multiple servers like take for example if you have like three to four servers or even if you have two servers you must install this one agent in each of these servers and because this agent collects all the monitoring data and sends it to the data trace server for analysis so it's very important to set up or to install the one agent in all the application servers so once the installation uh like mean, once it's installed so this can be done uh, manually we can just download the one agent and we can install it step by step or we can automate it using configuration management tools like if you have ansible if you have expertise in ansible or puppet or chef you can use that tools as well to do the installation because most of the times when we do it through the uh, tools through these automation tools the configuration parts remains the same and that's the reason we do uh, use these config tools and then the installation process varies depending on the operating system and they can be done via shell scripts or package managers or through the dynatrace web interface so this is the very first step that is installing the one agent on the application servers and again like i told you the installation process varies because if you are installing in windows it is completely different from how you install in a linux environment or in a unix or even in the docker or even with the kubernetes so everything is different because every kernel is different from the others so that's the reason the one agent installation process is also different in each of these operating systems and uh, moving on to the second part which is configuring the environment settings so after installing so the after completing the first step which is installing the one agent you need to configure the environment settings in dynatrace to ensure it correctly maps and monitors the infrastructure because this includes setting your environment id the api tokens that's very important because most of the times we face some connectivity issues because if the api tokens are not properly set up we might be getting connectivity issue or we might be getting a 404 or there is no response from the data trace so to avoid all these we should be very careful while setting up the environment id and the api tokens and if there are any specific configurations that are related to our environment such as the network zones and proxies and moving on to the third part which is ensuring the application tiers so we have to ensure that the application tiers are correctly detected so because we have installed the uh, data trace one agent but mainly the or i would say the data trace automatically detects the different tiers of our application which is the web application or the application or the web server or the app server or the database server but we need to verify that that this detection is accurate and also we have to check all relevant processes and services are being monitored and that they are correctly categorized so when when i say relevant processes so any processes that we want to 
be monitor we want to have it as part of our directories logs and also any services so we have to make sure that they're correctly categorized and also we have to adjust the monitoring settings if necessary to ensure complete coverage of your application tiers and moving on to the fourth step which is configuring the custom services so in some cases Dynatrace may not automatically recognize all the services in your environment especially if you have customer proprietary uh, applications so for example you have most of us know like we do install uh, and we do set up all the configurations everything is done but in some scenarios we might not be getting the response because the Dynatrace uh, could not recognize the services and we have to be very careful for some of the custom applications or some of the proprietary or some legacy applications. So we have to make sure that we are setting up the services in a way that we recognize all of them. And then we can even manually configure these custom services to ensure they are monitored properly. And this involves defining the entry points and technologies used by these services within the Dynatrace configuration. So uh, yeah, the last point I came, um, let me reiterate. it. So because uh, defining the entry points and the technologies is very important uh, when it comes to the directory's configuration. And moving on to the next step, which is setting up the tagging rules. So the tagging helps in organizing and managing the monitored entities in directories because while setting up the tagging rules to group related services, uh, like while we were doing the tagging, so we have to set up the rules to group the related services we have to group the hosts, the applications together based on certain criteria such as the environments. For example, you can set up in multi-layers multi like the production or the staging, the pre-prod, and then again on the location or the business unit as well. So you can do all these based on the tagging rules and the tags makes it easier to search, filter, and create alerts for specific parts of your environment. So that's that's very important so because this tagging is it's not just about uh just you tag it to group the related services again it's it, it's it makes the process easier to search to filter and create alerts for specific parts of the environment and finally when can uh, verifying the connectivity so we have to ensure so that's that's uh final and the most important point because you do everything uh, starting from installing the one agent, configuring the environment settings and ensuring the application tiers are correctly detected and configuring the custom services and even you have set up the tagging rules. But the most priority thing is you have to verify that the connectivity is, I mean, the connectivity to the Dynatrace server is working fine. So you have to ensure that the one agent on each server can successfully communicate with the Dynatrace server. And this involves checking network connectivity ensuring that required ports are open and verifying that no firewalls or security groups are blocking the communication and also you may need to configure the proxy settings if your environment uses a proxy for internet access so that's very important because without the pro proper proxy access we might not be able able to get the response uh, send the request and get the response back so by following all these steps you ensure that the directories is properly set up to monitor and analyze your application's performance, providing valuable insights and alerting to potential issues. So with that, I come to an end, and I definitely believe that this video will be very useful to you. So until I meet you in our next video, it's a big bye-bye from us and little Slaw YouTube channel. Bye-bye.